What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Simply Cash. Back with uh, another video, but it's not like necessarily an unboxing video. It's just just me comparing my experiences between Stock X and the Gold app. <clears throat> and today I actually have a package from Goat. So um, let me just start off by saying like I am not paid by no one. She, she, dude, I only have like 24 subscribers, so um, this is an unbiased video. I've purchased multiple shoes from GOAT. I've purchased multiple shoes from StockX. I've probably purchased like 12 pairs of shoes from GOAT, and this is probably like my fourth pair that I'm getting from StockX. Um, I'll tell you the subtle differences, um, which uh, ones that I prefer, which ones that I don't like. You know, I'm just go off the top of the dome. So, let me just unbox this box that I got from Goat. I already have an idea what shoes it is. I can tell by how big the box was. Not to mention, I can also see what my shoes is. So, oh, snaps. I don't understand why Nike didn't mass produce the Olive um, Special Forces that they released like 2016, the December of 2016. They didn't mass produce them. They only released a limited um, quantity of those shoes. But I said I would never get caught slipping in another pair of Special Forces. Because right now those Olive Special Forces is going for... $800 up on the Goat app and StockX. And I'm like, I'm not about to spend $800 on one pair of shoes. Nah, dude, get out of here with that. But, um, yeah. Since they mass produced this shoe, I got this pair from off of Goat for 90 bucks. I want to say. I was like, what? I actually, I'm feeling this colorway. Not as much as the Olive colorway, but I'm feeling it. Um, again, another quality brand new dead stock shoe that I got from the Goat app. And I'm probably going to rock these this weekend. Alright, so the difference is between the actual app itself. Let me see. Mm. All right, so this is the app itself. This is how GOAT looks. Pretty simple. So you have your different, um, this is like the hot list of what are the hot shoes going on right now. And you can actually search for whatever shoe you want. Um, your little personal information. And the current biz of shoes that you have right now, I had actually went on to um, StockX and brought the the Royal 13s that came out this weekend. I kind of slept on them. Um, I didn't think I was going to get them. I thought they was going to hit outlets. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to buy them when they hit the outlets. Nope. It was a limited shoe. City Gear didn't even get them. Um, Hibbits didn't get them. The only bigger names like Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs got them. So whatever. Um, it's real simplistic. StockX, on the other hand, the first time I saw it since it, I was used to GOAT originally, um, it's, it's a little bit more complicated if you're just looking at it. But now that I have um, a hang of it, I actually like it. So they tell you the more popular shoe at the top. And I don't get how, how are these ugly ass Yeezys, one of the popular shoes. And they're releasing in like four days. Um, recent lows. Yeah, I, I got. I purchased the Royal 13s for 225. Um, they retail for 190 plus taxes. Let's say all in all 210 off of Goat. I mean off of StockX. I paid 238, so I paid with an extra 28 bucks. Whatever. 
All right. So what I prefer on each goat, I like I like it because it's simple and I don't know, it just it looks clean. Goat is just simple. Um, you could also buy used shoes up on goat. You can't buy used shoes up on StockX, which is, I'm not knocking StockX for that. You only could sell dead stock shoes, brand new shoes on StockX. Um, a lot of dudes be trying to overprice used shoes up on the Goat app, and that that kind of grinds my gear. But sometimes you'll catch someone, you know, trying to just get rid of some used shoes that they have. So that's, that's the one thing I prefer about the Goat app is that you can buy used shoes from off the Goat app. Um, both of them, they still you have to like as a seller, you have to send it to their corporation and they authenticate the shoe and then send it to the buyer. Um, so that's a tie because they're both similar concept one thing goat I mean StockX does when they do sh ship out your shoe they give you some doofy things like oh, it's up in this shoe yeah I got these barkers like man when these shoes came out they were 235 I got them off of StockX for 100 and when these released it probably was my favorite shoe at the time but I, I didn't have the 235 to dish out when I first joined the Navy. Um, now, I buy shoes because I'm bowling. But anyways, these these Barclays right here, dude, to me, the coldest Barclays that ever released. That's just my opinion. Um, but they give you like little shoe tabs like this, and they'll throw you some, the GOAT does the, the, the sticker too. StockX, they both send you a sticker, a StockX sticker, and GOAT send you the, the little GOAT sticker. Um, this is a stock X sticker. Well, I'll be damned. I guess Goat didn't give me one this time. All right. But let my last. Stock X gives you a little sticker and a shoe tab. Goat, all they do is give you is a little authenticity card from whoever M is. M was the dude that verified those are authentic shoes. So, whatever. Um, I know one thing. Goat did sell me a pair of shoes that didn't even have the, the wrapper in. Stock X, that's not happening. If you don't, if you missing the price label on the shoe box, the, they're not going to sell those shoes. So, me personally, I think as of right now, I rather stock X and here's another reason why so goat you could only ever see the highest bid on a shoe let's say 30 people are selling shoes you could only see the lowest price you can't which is that's that's what we're all going for anyway the, the lowest price that's being sold um, stock X you can see the highest sold shoe the lowest sold. you can see all the shoes that are being sold like this particular shoe I can see that there was like 10 different people selling this shoe and I saw the one dude selling it for the lowest and I just put in my bid and I was the highest bid and I guess I just sat up on it and he was just like you know what nobody else is bidding up in the shoe bam I want it for a hundred bucks two $235 shoe a hundred bucks brand new dead stock can't say brand new because they've been out for like six years but dead stock um, so yeah you can see the, the different people bidding in the shoes so and i think a lot of people does this up in the go that so because uh, i this one it was the take flight fives it was the, the olive green um, fives so i had placed my bid one day and i started paying attention on goat so i noticed that the bid kept fluctuating like five dollar difference like let's say i was bidding 400 for for them one day I would see that it was four or five. Then it just say I have the highest bid. Then four or five. Like the dude was trying to see was someone um, bidding in. Like was it moving? So I didn't budge at all. And then uh, uh, sooner or later he accepted my bid. So he let me know that people that selling stuff on goat tend to outbid you to force you to bid higher. So. Nah, see, so that's why, you know, I'm probably not going to fool with GOAT that much. So, uh, 
I noticed another thing up on GOAT. So I normally just match the highest um, bid. Like if I want to overbid them, unless it's something I truly want. You eat this stuff that yourself? Yeah, I'm going to eat it. Just forget it? Unless what you're going to throw it away? You can throw it away. Yeah, because I'm not going to eat it. All right. I'm just asking. I can save it. It don't matter. I'm, I'm making a video. Oh. oh. God damn it. Now I'm going to have to edit it. There's more editing I got to do. Ignore her ugly ass. All right. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyways, so, I like if if you get involved on goat and you really want these shoes, just match that highest bid because sometimes it's the seller trying to put a highest bid that he's not gonna accept nothing but this you know bid. So just match them. Uh, with StockX. Uh, People are constantly is moving, so you can actually. That, that's another thing with Stock X. You can outbid a person by a dollar. You can't do that. On, you you gotta outbid them by at least five dollars on Goat. So, hint, Goat Stock X will get more of my business because um, the couple of shoes that I've received from Stock X came with everything: paper, the stupid shoe tag, uh, and, and don't get me wrong, it's. It might look like something aggravating, but I like that they, that they do this. They took the time to say we verified it instead of just throwing a stupid card. StockX, they even give you the receipt. Like, you, you can see everything. Um, so, um, if I had to give them on a scale from 1 to 10, no one's perfect. And they both can improve on something. Um, I would give StockX like a 9. And I would give Goat like a, a seven because they, they they have to do so much things to to compete with StockX right now. StockX like you can see like the trending market for shoes. All you can see is that a shoe went like the value of a shoe went up. They're just gonna show an up arrow for that is trending upwards. On Goat you can actually see like if you're a seller you can see the market value for shoes and. Yeah, so as far as the verification process, I want to say GOAT might be a little faster than StockX. Mainly because StockX, they want to get you them stupid <laughs> stickers that nobody probably ever use um, and put that very, like, they do extra stuff. Um, so I, I would say that I, I, I've noticed that I can get my shoe probably a day sooner. Like, if I bought the same shoe off of both web um, apps at the same time, I'm probably going to receive my shoe like a day sooner through GOAT than I, I will with StockX. These shoes came in today. I had one of them in a bid last week, just randomly. I was like, what? I definitely want them after I won the Barclays. The Barclays came in yesterday. These came in today. So GOAT is a little bit fast on verifying your shoe and getting it to you. Um, the shoe itself, GOAT will verify that they have everything included with the shoe. This shoe, this dude potentially could have worn, like just how it looks. Um, but I don't think he did. This just looks like a brand new, never worn before shoe. It's just the shoelace looked a little different. Um, like I said, like I could tell this dude never wore these shoes before. The, these shoes came out, I want to say in 2011. 20, uh, no, the beginning part of 2012. I lied. 2012, these shoes came out. It was around like the February time frame because people was getting these with their income taxes. Um, if someone actually had the official date, just drop it up in the, the, the comment section and let me know if I'm wrong, if you caught me slipping. Um, but yeah, I can tell that this is the, I think, like the actual carbon fiber because like this is still a, a, a foam posit shoe. You can look at it and see that it's foam posit material and it caused the the typical foam posit um, uh, carbon fiber right here. Um, if you had any bad experiences with either or, leave them up in the comments um, section. Let me know your personal experiences with the two. Um, I, I got the gold toes like, so with the gold toes I, I got them, it kind of smelled funny. I could tell that is the actual one but it's, maybe it's because it's patent leather, I didn't think about it, but they smelled different. Did an actual shoe, but it just smelled like it came straight from the Chinese sweatshop. Like, 
a little different. So, but that was also from Stock that StockX. So, uh, again, um, if I had to pick a winner of the two, I'm, I'm going with StockX. Um, this is like Mac to Android, like, and and I'm a like I'm an iPhone user. The 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 computer that I'm gonna edit this video on is an iMac. Um, I have a MacBook Pro. Oh, like, and I even got a little notification that the shoe was delivered today. Um, like, go as far as ease of operations. It's ten. Is it doesn't get any easier. Like I said, it, StockX was a little bit more complicated when I first started using it. So the, the ease of operations for it, like initially, is like a, a seven. It's a little bit more complex. Vice Goat is a ten. It's so easy. So. I forgot to equate that part so that would actually boost them up to eight for simplicity so nine eight again your boy simply cash them out peace